welcome back. This is part two to my Christmas clean and decorate. In this video, I'm going to be mainly focusing on my kitchen and dining room area. And I'll also be putting out some of my other Christmas knickknacks in the living room. Now, one thing you're gonna notice, if you haven't already, <laughs> when it comes to Christmas, I love to thrift, especially for Christmas decorations. And I'm very nostalgic when it comes to Christmas. I love to decorate with vintage and old-fashioned uh, Christmas items. These are some of my cookie jars that I have collected over the years. These I put as display and then there's a Mr. Santa Claus that you'll see a little bit later. He was the first cookie jar I ever had and he's the one that I actually use for my holiday cookies. And then I'm going to put up our dining room tree. Now we put up a few different trees. The one in the living room is our family tree. That is where all of our sentimental ornaments go, uh, things that the kids have made, ones that we collected over vacations, uh, ones that have pictures of the kids. They all go on that tree. And then this tree is my vintage tree and I will be showing you some of my ornaments for it later but they are all thrifted and collected from different places through the years. Here is one of my recent Christmas finds. A parachuting Santa. He was two dollars and I wasn't sure if he worked. I didn't know what he did but I brought him home anyway because he was in excellent condition and this looks like a good place to hang him. You can see my uh, genius idea here, using my Swiffer so I don't have to stand on a chair. But I put some batteries in him and this is what he does. And Mr. Santa Claus is noise activated, we found out by surprise. <laughs> Uh, I forgot we had um, dropped something and he just started singing. Now this um, is another sweet story. When I was growing up, my parents had this little drummer set and they set it up every year on this bar area that we had and I loved it it was my favorite Christmas decoration and I would sit and listen to it as long as my mom would let me as long as she could stand I would just sit and listen to it play music and I was telling my husband about it and describing it to him and he went and found this one on eBay one year and bought it it came with the box, it came with extra pieces, it was in excellent condition, and he surprised me with it one Christmas, so it was a really nice, very nice and sweet surprise. And then, of course, I have to change out my china cabinet and take all my, my usual display pieces out. And like I've said before, uh, this was my grandmother's china cabinet. 
and I just put things in it that makes me happy that I like but for Christmas I'm gonna put in all my Christmas items now I do have some Christmas plates I don't have a complete set because I have collected them uh, thrifting throughout the years so I've got some different ones but I've got enough to display and then you can see my eggnog set on the bottom shelf I leave it out all year long because I love it I love I just love it so I don't pack it away Here are some of my Christmas plates I have collected throughout the years. And then I've got some teacups. And then that wooden bowl that you see on the top shelf, that is actually a nut bowl. It's got a nutcracker in the center and then you can put your walnuts in the actual bowl part. We do also put up outside decorations. We put up lights and I have a couple of um, old blow molds of Santa and a snowman. But we usually wait to put them up around Thanksgiving. So we've got a couple more weeks before those come out. Here are some of my thrifted ornaments I have found. I've collected these from yard sales, um, flea markets, antique stores, wherever I come across an ornament, uh, I will usually buy it, especially if it's vintage. <laughs> my favorite ones are these. I bought these at a yard sale from a lady who said they had been in her family for many, many years. and. She believed that they were handmade, that they used to come in a kit. But those are some of my favorites and I always have to hang them up top because of my little helper here. <laughs> she likes to pull ornaments off and play with them. And I've got to switch out to my holiday apron. You can see that it is well loved. I do a lot of holiday baking and it's always in this apron. I'm just gonna put out a few more holiday touches, clean my table, uh, put on my Christmas tablecloth. You 
see my little girl there. She has a Anna cap, Princess Anna from Frozen. I crocheted that for her last year. And she likes to wear it, but she likes to wear it backwards. So if you're wondering what in the world she had on, uh, that's what it is. It's an Anna cap. It's just backwards. <laughs> For my candlesticks, they were a little too narrow on the bottom. They didn't actually set in these candle holders. I had found these, I think I found these at Goodwill for a couple cents each. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my lighter and warm the end of them and then just push them down so they will kind of mold to the candle holder. And here is that um, Leo peppermint stick tin I found earlier. I had shared on one of my other videos. Right now I'm just going to use it as a stand. <laughs> There is my Santa cookie jar that I actually use for my cookies and treats. And I also had to switch out my, my cookbook that's on display to a Christmas one. And here is the final look with everything lit up. The garland on the mantle there is just dehydrated oranges and apple slices. I just cut them up and put them in a dehydrator and then strung them with some twine. And that Santa that you see next to the Nutcracker cookie jar is actually a hand-painted gourd that I bought. That is something else that I really enjoy collecting is hand-painted Christmas items. For some reason, I just can't pass them up. I love the little personal touch of it being hand-painted. Um, you'll see some of my other hand-painted items that I've got in the living room. this little snowman guy he is hand painted and he is signed on the bottom it says Clar clarinet I believe and here is another one that I've got two of these they came as a set and it's painted on the back and then on the front you can see this beautiful little scenery And then that Noel is from the 1950s and it is a candle holder. And there is a little piece of wood that somebody had painted into a Santa. 
and that Noel candle holder it takes smaller candlesticks so I've got some one inch candlesticks ordered hopefully they'll fit in it I'm not sure but fingers crossed I hope they do and there's our family tree now I I did change out the doily underneath the phone to this red one I just felt like it was more Christmassy and then I wanted to show you this idea I found this carousel picture frame I believe it was at Family Dollar a couple years ago I had it up in my closet for a long time before I decided to do this now I love Christmas cards and these are cards that friends and family have sent I cut out a piece of the image from the front of the card and then on the back is a piece of their message and their signature and I just thought it was a nice way to display all the beautiful cards that we've received and keep that little special memento of their signature and their message because I love sending and I love getting Christmas cards it just it's such a fun part of Christmas to me especially those family and friends that do not live close to me that we can't see for the holidays I like to send them a card and just let them know that we are thinking about them stockings I actually sewed last year my first time ever trying to quilt anything <laughs> it was a little bit frustrating but a lot of fun and I'm, I'm pretty happy how they turned out uh, and I embroidered our names on each of them I thank you so much for joining me I hope this video wasn't too long and didn't get too boring <laughs> um, my next video will probably be a crochet video so please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all next time.